to first introduce uh, Pradha. Uh, he is uh, uh, the head of, uh, he is the medical superintendent of the, at the GP Panth Hospital and also professor cardiology. He is also got a list of achievements, he's won several awards, several accolades, both at personal and professional level. He's won 18 gold medals and five silver medals during his medical career. And he's also, yes, we can hear it for him. He's also the uh, uh, secretary of the Delhi branch of the Cardiology Society of India and uh, the chairman of the Delhi Intervention Council. He is also, more importantly, uh, he has also been practicing meditation since the past four decades and used uh, the spiritual knowledge in, an, in a practical way. So we're going to hear from him. We'll start with a few minutes of silence and then over to Dr. Very good afternoon to all of you and welcome to this beautiful place which I always call as my home. I, today I turn very nostalgic because first time I came here I was only five years old and every time I come to Madhavan even for few hours like today I just came in the morning and will be leaving immediately. It's so much fulfilling and refreshing. You've had beautiful sessions for a couple of days. But today I'm not going to lecture you or give you a 10 or 20 point program. No, not at all. I'm going to take you on a very nostalgic and a very beautiful journey. I remember I was uh, flying for an induction program for I am Lucknow. And one of my friends who was flying with me, he asked me, a very interesting question and he said, Dr. Gupta, how many times do we reincarnate in our life? And I was quiet for a few seconds. After a few seconds, I replied spontaneously that I think that every time I think new, I reincarnate in my life. And when I said these words, my whole 40, 50 years of life just flashed back in front of me. I was just thinking that we all are made of stories, wonderful stories, beautiful stories in our life. And today, I'm going to explain you, share my five beautiful stories of life. So this is my story. Just like you, 
I also started my life like a kid, once upon a time, like an innocent, like a lovely child who was beautiful, wonderful actor, playing in school, lovely, trying to enact plays, sometimes role of a teacher, sometimes role, different roles, very innocent, very loving and very joyful and very happy. And then one of these days, somebody told me, Mohit, aise kaam nahi chalega. This is not the way life is going to be. Life is all about chasing success. And I was no different. Just like you guys, I also started running. Running fantastically, perfectly. Whatever I dreamt of in my life, I could attract success. Whatever I wanted in my life, I could achieve it. Everything I wanted in my life, I could just get that thing in my life very easily, comfortably, by working and by focusing. I cleared my MBBS. I also qualified for IIT. I chose my medical career by my choice. After five years of good medical studies, 1998, I got my degree of Dr. Mohit Gupta and I was very happy. And one of my friends came and told me that Mohit, up to two doctor ban gaya, what are you going to specialize in? And his few, this single line took away my happiness and I again started running and did my MD medicine. From 1998 to 2001, I completed my MD medicine successfully with a gold medal and I was oh, satisfied, perfect. Now I am Dr. Mohit Gupta, MD, medicine, I am a physician, qualified, everything is going on perfect. And I went to then John Hopkins, studying there, didn't like it, was doing gastroenterology there. I went then to Oxford, didn't like, I wanted to be with my parents and 2001, I landed back in India to be with my parents and to study in India, to do cardiology. I was very happy, I was saying that, okay, I will practice medicine and my father who is a gastroenterologist, his colleague came, Beta, congratulations to America se wapis a gaya hai, MD medicine to you have done, what are you super specializing in? Manika, let me be happy for half a day at least. <laughs> and it was, I remember 10th July 2001, I again started running in that race, that mad race of cardiology. And then I became a cardiologist. In my first attempt, the youngest cardiologist of the country, in my institute, very, very happy. I could get everything. Life going on successfully, perfectly, meditating, brahmachari, doing, practicing meditation, listening, visiting Brahma Kumaris, lecturing all, over lecturing all over the world, doing everything perfect. And then one day came that changed my life forever. That completely changed my life forever. And that was 20th March 2003. I've said this many times, but I'm going to show you why this day was so much important. Because we all are listening every day. You must have listened to numerous people, numerous speakers, everything you have listened. Oh, I have listened to your YouTube, I'm following you, I listen to your lectures, this is fantastic. But let me tell you, my dear friends, today is not a day of listening. No, not at all. If you in a habit of listening, you'll keep on listening for years and keep on clapping. Today is a day of transformation. I'm not here to lecture you. I'm here to awaken the fantastic spirit, the amazing spirit, the amazing power that each one of you is gifted with to make possible, to turn impossible into possible, to achieve anything that you dream of that you can in your life by the power of your thought. That is what my purpose is today. I'm going to make you scientifically understand that how and why the power of one thought, the power of one moment, and the science of meditation can completely change your life, not only scientifically, logically, but it can give you a whole new experience in your life. So that was the day of 20th March 2003. 5.30 p.m. in the evening, Coming home after one and a half days, I was tired. Mother is a gynecologist. I said, came back home very tired and usually fatigued. Mommy said, Beta, khana khaoge? I said, no, I just want to sleep today. I immediately jumped on my bed with severe headache. 7.30 p.m. I woke up. She said, Ki, if you don't want to have a paratha or a meal, at least have an ice cream. I said, yes, please hand, give me an ice cream. And I gladly took an ice cream, cup of ice cream in my right hand. 15 seconds only, that cup, fell from my hand and I collapsed on the floor of my house. 
आई वॉज थ्रोइंग मैसेव सीजर्स अनकंट्रोलेबल सीजर्स कोई होश नहीं था माई फादर लिफ्टेड मी माई सिस्टर खेम रनिंग देट इमीडिएटली टुक आउट द कार पुट मी इन माई कार रश मी टू द हॉस्पिटल आई वॉज जस्ट थ्रोइंग लाइक दिस एंड दे वर लाइक पैनिक कंप्लीटली माई डॉक्टर्स वर इन्फॉर्म दे वर वेटिंग इन द इमरजेंसी फॉर मी होल नाइट दे वर स्ट्रगलिंग टू कंट्रोल माई सीजर्स होल नाइट and ultimately they were able to control my seizures next day when i was in icu it was like a fight of a david and a goliath the whole world had collapsed in front of me i was loving i was loving my life i was leading a life full of dreams everything i wanted was there in my life materialistic spiritual everything was perfect and for a young cardiologist this was like the end of the world my brain scans were done and brain scans revealed a large mass in right side of my brain how would you feel if you know that the person who is speaking to you today does not have his right side of the brain it has been taken out how would you feel that if you know that the person who is speaking to you has lost his 80% of the hearing and he has been using devices for last 20 years working with only 20% of his hearing and this is how he is running his life and how would you feel if you know that the doctor and the person who is speaking to you has six screws grilled in his spine he has difficulty in standing even now at this moment but still he is running his schedules right from 3:15 am in the morning till 11 11:30 pm in the night operating more than 20 cases traveling across the world that's the power of one thought my dear friends that's the power of one thought and this is not unique this is not unique to one person this is unique to a mindset that we all have to create by the power of meditation this is the power that you all have to create in your life to design what you want to achieve in your life that day i was banging my head like this 19 drugs in the whole world resistant to 18 drugs mycobacterium cancer i i've seen one infection in my life and that is only on me i was taking 90 18 tablets every day 9 in the morning 9 in the evening they were used to be like you know offered like a toffee or a chocolate to me 8 9 in tablets in the morning you get up at 9 in the evening and sensitive only to one injection amicacin every day doctor would pump that injection on my hips when my hips completely gave up my doctor i still remember every day 8 am morning bell will ring in my home and he will put a separate intraket every single day 1 1 mm 150 injections can you believe it every day i used to bang my like head like this it was bursting with headache they were injecting drugs but let me tell you in the whole journey of that pain not a moment i allowed myself to experience sorrow in my life dard hota tha lekin dukh ki anubhuti maine apne aap ko kabhi bhi nahi hone diya because i knew that if i have to win over this disease i have to grow bigger than the disease i have to come out of this disease that day when i was in icu i was thinking so many things bahut sare vichar man mein aa rahe the mohit what has happened in your life sab kuch to perfect chal raha tha everything was going like a dream run and i knew i had landed myself in a pandemic of personal mismanagement ask yourself here every person in this hall introspect your life introspect your life जितना सामान बटोरा है ना उतना सुकून भी जिंदगी में बटोरा है या नहीं बटोरा अपने आप से भी पूछो अवर कप बोर्ड अवर गाज एवरीथिंग मेटलिस्टिक वी हैव सो मच एवरीथिंग बट आर वी रियली हैप्पी इन आर लाइफ दैट डे आई न्यू दैट आई हैव बीन प्रोफेशनली सक्सेसफुल आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग स्पिरिचुअलिटी बट समवेयर समाओ इन माई लाइफ आई हैव लॉस द बैलेंस द बैलेंस ऑफ जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस my whole life is materialistic my whole life is based on technology that mobile phone right from morning till evening i am right on whatsapp facebook twitter updating my status everything is running that power of focus and concentration is left we keep on telling ourselves busy ho busy ho jaldi karo jaldi karo time nahi hai time nahi hai these two words have become more viral than the virus every day everybody is using these words and that is the day i changed and deleted this word forever in my life busy never ever for last 22 years i have allowed anybody to introduced me as a busy cardiologist 
I always feel that I am not a busy person, I am a be easy person in my life. That busy word itself has a two beautiful words called be easy. When you are easiness inside, easy inside, outward busyness does not matter at all in your life, my dear friends. Everything falls in place. People keep on telling, Dr. Gupta, you have been operating, you have been traveling, you have, been, you have so many tasks. Do you have people who are aligning things for you? How do you manage your time? I said, I never manage things outside. I never manage time. I only manage my mind and everything outside gets perfectly managed right on place. That's the power of our thoughts. That's the power of our belief. That day, when I was lying in the ICU, I was thinking that life is supposed to be very simple, yeah. It's supposed to be so simple and we have made a mess out of it. We have made a jalebi out of it, isn't it? Don't you think? And mummy was saying, Beta, tu hask your eye. Why are you smiling? It's only one day post ictal seizures you have had. You are not in a normal state. And I very politely and smilingly said, Ki mummy, jab jalebi si ulaji chuki hai zindagi. Jab jalebi si ulaji chuki hai zindagi, to kyun nahi chashni mein dubki laga li jaya. Zindagi mein kuch mithas bhari jaya. Zindagi mein kuch change kiya jaya. Let us inculcate that joy and happiness in my life. I knew. I had to do something different. I knew I have to come out of this emergency mode. Break lagao. Bhaag rahe ho na, break lagao. Everything we have had, pride, power, position, everything we have, but today you need to put break in your life. So before I go into the core session, I am going to ask you only one question. And each one of you have to answer. I will give you three options for that. Definitely three options for that and you have to choose one and if you think there is a fourth option you can tell me My question to you is very very simple Why do we work in our life that day? I was asking me why do we work in our life first question answer we work in our life for money second we work in our life for happiness and third we work in our life both for money and happiness Okay, now each one of you think and look at me and answer how many people in this hall work for money important with money we cannot buy things without money we cannot buy anything we cannot be happy at all so any takers for this we work for money honest yes five six seven eight nine ten perfect that's very important understandable how many people work for happiness raise your hands we have around about 20 of them who work for happiness in sabka bank balance mere account transfer kar do bhaiya and how many of us answers you can change? No problem. How many of you work both for money and happiness? You can take. Okay. Dal badlu bhi hai par. That's perfect. <laughs> Typical Indian politics. Okay. But there are certain papers in our life we all fail, isn't it? I always I told you that if you have a fourth answer, you can give it to me. Should we work in our life for happiness or should we work in our life with happiness? <laughs> answer. <laughs> That's the problem in our life. We are chasing happiness today. We are thinking that when we achieve this thing, I'll be happy. When I achieve this thing, I'll be happy. When I'm completing this task, I'll be happy. And it doesn't work that way, my dear friends. That is the day I realized that happiness does not depend on how much we have. Happiness only depends on how satisfied we are. You can go to Switzerland and still be unhappy. You can be in your small home, in your room cozy, and you can still be very, very happy. It's a conscious decision. And that is the day I started creating happiness in my life so my dear friends here i am with all my stories because i knew that if i have to transform my life i have to change inside and nothing is going to change if i don't change today note it down don't just be a listener today you have to choose a make a conscious decision to bring a small change in your life and next 40 minutes is going to be the most revealing scientific journey of your life that you would have ever ever listened in your life that is going to come completely blow your mind that is going to completely cleanse your mind and that is going to explain you how beautiful the power of single and one thought could be so we all believe that our thoughts contained within our brain we often say yaar maine socha tha usko bola nahi hai so don't worry it's there in my brain but it doesn't work that way today 
examples and studies of magnetoencephalogram a beautiful machine mri machine magnetoencephalogram without touching our brain without touching our brain it can completely map our inner brain wave pattern and this shows that our thoughts are not contained within our brain so if our thoughts are not contained within our brain where are they acting our thoughts are acting on our body and on our genes our thoughts are also acting on our relations the quality of our relations our family and friends our thoughts are also acting on the environment our food our water our nature and the complete atmosphere every single aspect of your life is being strongly influenced by every single thought that each one of you is generating you wanted evidence i'll share the stories and evidence now with you can my thoughts change and program my genes is it possible that just by changing your thoughts you can program your genes socha or gene on ho gayi socha or gene off ho gayi you can switch on your happiness genes you can switch off your negative genes you can switch off your cancer genes you can switch on your health genes my dear friends your genes are not your destiny today if we have somebody in our family with heart disease with cancer is it necessary that i am also going to have that disease the answer is big no my dear friends the first evidence that came for it was by dr dean ornish fantastic experiments look at me what he did he took 30 patients of prostate cancer not going for a routine treatment and he just taught them meditation and healthy lifestyle for 3 months within 3 months what happened those patients who were having a healthy lifestyle meditative lifestyle thinking positively their cancer causing gene ran it down regulated and their protein building gene it up regulated not only this within 3 months expression of 500 genes changed and all the cancer causing genes of the body were switched off and down regulated this was first evidence that just by changing your thinking just by changing your lifestyle you can actually change and switch on and off your genes this was fascinating for me and then came the second story of my life it was a evening of 2018 saturday 9:30 pm in the night i was about to leave for my home suddenly as i was about to move out we had a very significant noise outside and a young boy 22 year old was brought dead <coughs> in my cath lab his ecg was flatline his blood pressure was unrecordable his he was pulseless he was being massaged he had a massive cardiac arrest and they told me dr gupta he has been admitted under your care it's your call day you have to operate him i said he's almost gone what am i going to do he said please give your best try we ventilated him we put him on a artificial circulatory system put him on the operating table it took me 2 to 2 and a half hours we worked on all his three arteries we cleaned his arteries took out all the thrombus stented his arteries and i could achieve a blood pressure of hardly 50 60 mm of mercury generated by his heart his heart was still beating at that time man keh raha tha ki ye nahi bachega lekin dil keh raha tha he will survive i shifted him to my icu i went back home with the best support system thinking about that patient whole night i was thinking a lot what happened what is wrong you know next day when i came on rounds to my icu that young boy was sitting like a young guy with only ventilating tubes his blood pressure had stabilized his ecg practically normalized and he was conscious jaise ek din pehle kuch hua hi na ho maine kaha tu to upar chakkar laga ke niche aa gaya usne kaha sir aapne latak ke niche kheech liya everybody was smiling and celebrating but you know my mind was very disturbed and i'll tell you why because i operate 150 200 cases in a week and 25% of my population of my patients are between age of 18 to 35 years heart attack main soch raha tha yaar 22 saal ke ladke ko heart attack kyu ho gaya why did he have an heart attack non smoker non diabetic no family history lipids normal non hypertensive koi risk factor nahi hai heart attack ho gaya i said i must talk to them 
आई वेंट टू हिम हिज फैमिली कि मुझे इसके बात करनी है इसकी वाइफ को बुलाओ मैरिड फॉर टू ईयर्स हैड अ फोर मंथ होल्ड डॉटर हिज पेरेंट्स की मैन सेड सर जो बात करनी है हमसे करो मैंने कहा क्यों भाई आपसे क्यों करूँ उन्होंने कहा भाई इनकी और वाइफ की आपस में बनती नहीं है देर ऑन दी वर्ज ऑफ डाइवोर्स एंड वन मंथ लेटर दे आर गोइंग टू सेपरेट फ्रॉम ईच अदर आई वॉज शॉक्ट आई वॉज सरप्राइज लुक एट दिस दी प्रेजेंट डे स्टोरीज द रोल द कर्म भूमि जिस पर वी आर प्लेइंग एंड एक्चुअली डीलिंग विथ पीपल आई सेट प्लीज विथ फोल्डेड हैंड्स गिव अ कॉल टू दैट यंग गर्ल आस्क टू कम दैट डॉक्टर गुप्ता हैज आज यू टू कम हेयर दिस इज वॉट इज हैपन रिलेक्टेंटली दे कॉल दैट यंग गर्ल and happily she came within 2 hours i shocked shocked out everybody i made them sit in the icu i had extubated the young boy and un dono ko bitha ke maine se pucha kya gadbad chal rahi hai what is happening in your life look at what his answer was he said sir we earn a six digit salary i drive a mercedes i have a four bedroom plush apartment everything materialistic we have whatever i dream of in the young age we all have sir we have a young lovely baby child but we have never connected with each other we never had time for each other we were running right from morning till the evening only few minutes we had to talk it was like a business talk and that lack of joy and love made us separate from each other we have filed for divorce i said perfect decision bahut badhiya decision liya i said you have one month can you do two things for me they said yes hum karenge sir मैंने कहा केवल एक काम करना फॉर नेक्स्ट वन मंथ यू ओनली हैव अ मील और अ डिनर टुगेदर पंद्रह बीस मिनट साथ में बैठना स्विच ऑफ योर मोबाइल स्विच ऑफ योर इंटरनेट नो टेलीविजन नो टेलीफोन नथिंग जस्ट हैव योर मील टुगेदर अंडरस्टैंड ईच अदर एक्सेप्ट ईच अदर फाइट विद ईच अदर लिसन टू ईच अदर एप्रीशिएट ईच अदर एनालाइज ईच अदर आर्ग्यू विज ईच अदर लेकिन प्यार से आपस में एक दूसरे से आंखों में आंखें डाल के प्यार से बातें करना करोगे दोनों देखने लगे ओके okay, सर एक महीने की बातें करेंगे एंड सेकंड थिंग आई सेड टू दैट यंग गर्ल मैंने कहा देख भाई मेरी ओपीडी हफ्ते में एक बार आती है दैट्स ऑन ट्यूसडे अब वेडनेसडे हो गई लेकिन ट्यूसडे आई विल डिस्चार्ज योर हस्बैंड डे आफ्टर टुमारो ही इज फाइन नाउ बट फॉर नेक्स्ट मंथ आई एम गोइंग टू सी योर हस्बैंड ओनली ऑन वन कंडीशन इफ यू होल्ड इज हैंड एंड ब्रिंग टू माई ओपीडी उसने कहा सर कुछ और बता दीजिए मैंने कहा नहीं यही कर दो बस बहुत है हाथ पकड़ के लाना है मैंने कहा हाथ पकड़ के लाना है मेरी ओपीडी में लाना है आई हैव टिपिकली 290 पेशेंट्स 300 पेशेंट्स इन माय ओपीडी ऑन अ सिंगल डे यू हैव टू कम आई विल सी यू आई डिस्चार्ज देम नो अदर इंस्ट्रक्शंस फर्स्ट वीक सेकंड वीक दे केम थर्ड वीक दे केम फोर्थ वीक दे केम आई यूज्ड टू गिव देम ओनली फाइव मिनट्स टिपिकली टाइम दैट वी हैव स्माइलिंग दी दे ऑल्सो यूज टू स्माइल आई राइट डाउन द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन सब बढ़िया चल रहा है सब बिल्कुल परफेक्ट चल रहा है दो फोर वीक्स चेंज इन टू फोर मंथ्स those four months change into 14 months and those 14 months change into four years their four month old child has grown into a four year old child and they are still coming to my opd they have withdrawn their divorce papers my dear friend that's the power of connection that we have that's the day i realized what is the true essence of healing gyan dena to bahut easy hai lecture karna to bahut easy hai imbibing it in your life in your practice and transforming life is what we need in our life and that is the day i started experiments in our life my dear in in our hospital we run we use artificial intelligence and genomics in our life in our uh, labs you know research lab i took 150 patients it's published as a white paper because i was always a scientist i wanted to know that how this meditation is helping pure din atma yog main atma hu kaise yaad karta hu yaar how is it working in my body is it really working or not working i am naturally experiencing peace but is it really transforming and having an effect on my body i need to know that i just don't need to know but how and why should i use meditation i should know the evidence and that is why i started doing experiments and collected 150 like patients like i had that young boy i measured their stress levels the amount of stress that we have at home at work and the general stress and i measured their telomere or the genetic or the biologic age शरीर की एज किसी की 50, 60, 70 और 30 और 40 और 20 होगी मेरी 50 इयर्स है इसी प्रकार बॉडी की बायोलॉजिक एज होती है जीन्स की एज होती है जिसको हम टेलोमियर लेंस से मेजर करते हैं क्रोमोसोमल लेंस से मेजर करते हैं मैंने उस एज को मेजर किया व्हाट वर द रिजल्ट्स लुक एट दिस व्हेन वी मेजर्ड देयर बॉडिली एज वॉज बिटवीन एटीन टू थर्टी फाइव लुक एट दिस माई डियर फ्रेंड्स रेड ऑफ हार्ट अटैक पेशेंट their genetic age was equal to a 60 to 90 92 year old person their genes were destroyed completely 
The disease was rapidly expressing. I was shocked. We had published this paper. I was thinking, yaar, ye ho kya in mein? Wo 18, 22 saal, 35 saal ke bachche mein, we have a genetic makeup which is of 60 to 92 years. This is what we are dealing with. I said, I need to analyze the risk factors. We started analyzing the risk factors. We had no risk factors. 98% of them had highest level of psychosocial stress, lack of love, lack of happiness, lack of purpose, lack of gratitude in their life, and they had anger and irritation in their life. Then I thought, no matter Stress is all. What is new? Stress is common. Baat hai. This is what our belief is. Na? Then we started analyzing further. Look at this. Those people who had no purpose, lack of love, and those people who had anger in their life, they are the people whose telomerase enzyme decreased and their genetic length or telomere length significantly decreased and their disease was fast expressing. On the contrary, those people who had love, who had happiness and gratitude, who had positive outlook, they are the people whose genetic enzyme increased and their telomere length or genetic age was increased. That is the day I realized that Bharat Varsh ke purane jo yogi hote the na, wo 150-200 saal jite kaise the? By their power of happiness and joy. By having purpose in their life. And that is the day we started a beautiful Raj Yoga room in our hospital. Now, today we are using meditation. Raj Yoga meditation in our healthcare workers, in our heart attack patients to reverse their age genetically, to reverse their depression, to reverse their anger and give them a happy and a fulfilling life. You wanted evidence, look at this my dear friends, this is the magic that you can create. The good news is this is completely reversible. Today, if you choose to choose happiness in your life, if you choose to create joy in your life, you can actually change your complete telomere length, my dear friends. Your life is completely a matter of your own perspective. Drishtiko. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. When you change the way you look at people, people you look at change. And when you change the way you look at situations, situations you look at change. Dosto, jo vyakti aapke liye irritating ho sakta hai, zaruri nahi wo merele irritating hoga. It's only a matter of your perspective. And that is why Dr. Robert Waldinger, in his world famous, the beautiful, the most fantastic study I've ever read in the Harvard second generation study, in which he took 600 young Harvard people. For 75 years, he followed up continuously measured their 60 parameters, the amount of money, the amount of success, the amount of position, the amount of things that we had. He had only and only one secret to fulfilling and happy life. And you know what was that secret? That secret was only and only good relations. Good relations. The essence of our existence. Check yourself. Introspect of yourself. This is the beauty, my dear friends, that spirituality tells us. God is making ourselves, our relation with our own selves, with God, with our own family, with our friend. Everywhere in our life, when our relations are full of joy, of happiness, of compassion, of empathy, every single thing in our life completely and completely changes. My dear friends, today science has given us enough evidence that by your thoughts, you can regulate your genes. You can regulate your genes. That is why Times Magazine said that why your DNA isn't your destiny. The choices that you are making, the thoughts that you are creating, they are not only changing your destiny, they are completely programming your own DNA and that is why you don't have a fixed DNA. Today your DNA is completely dynamic. That is why yogis, that is why those people who practice spirituality in its truest essence, they are remaining happy, they are remaining peaceful in their life, they can reprogram their genes, my dear friends. My second message to you, can our thoughts change our body programming also? Is it possible that can I reprogram my brain and my life for success? Sochne se hi apni life ko program kar sakta Just by thinking, rehne dije sir, aise kaise hota hai? This is not possible. Today, science says, yes, it is possible, my dear friends. 
A beautiful experiment out of three, I would show you only one, which is very fascinating, was conducted by Dr. Alvaro Pascal Leon from Howard. He's a famous neuroscientist. And what experiment he did, you must listen to me. Look at me and I'll explain you what he did. Fantastic experiment. What he did was he took a group of people like you and he said that I'm going to teach you how to play piano. Divided the group into two parts, group one and group two. And what he did was to group one, he made you sit in front of the piano for three weeks and you were actually playing the piano. Got it? Yes or no? Perfect. Group two, what he did? He just gave you a picture of piano and made you imagine as if you are playing a piano without actually playing it. For three weeks, regular practice, half an hour every day, you guys were playing piano, you were imagining that you were playing piano, and after three weeks, he took you for brain scans to see that what happens to that area of brain that controls the piano playing fingers in both the groups. What were the results? You would be surprised to hear that mental practice resulted in similar reorganization of brain. That means those people who were only imagining the changes in their brain were also similar as compared to those people who were playing. Look at this. Just by thinking, you can actually program your brain the way you want. And that is why your brain can be rewired and today science says and labels it as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity. Nerve cells that fire together, they wire together. Dr. Eric Candle got Nobel Prize for working in snails for this and saying that once you are continuously and repetitively thinking the same thing, you start attracting and changing that thing in your life very, very, very powerfully. It's only, uh, only a question of practice. Repetition will strengthen those neurons and you know a new neuron is formed within 17 seconds and you go into a repetitive positive cycle of 3 to 5 cycles of 17 seconds. That neuron gets hardwired and 21 days to 254 days you get a completely new program my dear friends. This is what I experienced in my life. My third story of life. A third story of life. Whatever you want in your life is on its way. I've always been a very optimistic person. Very optimistic, Ashawadi. I would just like to achieve things and go out for them, take a risk and just achieve whatever I want in my life. So it was summers of 2001 when I had came back from America. It was 9th or 10th July. I was planning to study for cardiology. And at that time, in my institute, we had only five seats in the country. I wanted to be in Delhi. I went to my mother. I said, Mommy, bahut mushkil hai exam. It's very difficult. There are only five seats. My teachers are giving exam with me. Nobody used to get that in first attempt. They used to give first, second, third attempt also. And my even senior colleagues are giving this exam. I will give only and only one attempt. If I'm able to clear this cardiology, that is perfect. Otherwise, I'll practice my medicine. I'm already a qualified physician. She's a very positively. She said, Beta, I said, kya hua? Kete, Beta, seat hai kitni hai? I said, Paanch. She said, How many do you want? I said, I want only one, of course. I don't want four, five of them. She said, Exclude those four. Focus on one. This was fantastic. This really had a, like a bullet, it came into my mind. I went rushing to my room. I wrote in front of my desk, This one seat is for me. I opened my books of cardiology. I wrote, this one seat of cardiology is for me. 19th July 2001, vivid memories of that day, everything printed here, I've started studying for cardiology with six months in my hand. 9th February 2002 was my exam, Saturday. Check it, Saturday. 100 questions, 9.30 to 12.30 was my exam. I gave my exam. 100 questions, I came out. I wanted, kya hota hai, MCQ de kar aake, yaar iska answer bata, uska answer bata, what is the answer for this? This is, not a single person discussed the paper with me. My friends and senior colleagues came and they said, Mohit, tu ghar ja, shaam ko saale chhe baje, we will send a hundred question paper with the answers to you, so that you are able to give your exam better next year. This is what they told me. <laughs> Vivid memories. I was disappointed. Mai wahaan gaya, baal bad chuke the, weight already jada tha. 96 kgs. I went, got a haircut done, 
went to my home, pushed my books aside, and I started listening a song. You all must have listened Hotel California Eagles. Ka. I was just enjoying and relaxing. Yaar, chhod jo ho gaya. Jitna dena tha kar liya. I am not going to give more attempt. I waited for my results for 15 days. 15 days later, result came. My rank in the country was first. My percentile was 95 percent. And my second people, second, third, and fourth rank was 78, 77, 76, and 70 percent. Why? Because those six months, I believe that when you glue your intention with imagination and put a do not disturb sign, no power on earth can take away your success from you. That's the power of one thought, my dear friends. That's the power of one thought. That's the question of belief that you all have to create. People call it as law of attraction. People say, I attract success. People say, ask, believe, and receive. I believe in law of assumption. Wish that your wish is already fulfilled. I was living and every day working like a cardiologist for those six months. Not a moment I allowed myself to think that I'm not going to become this. I was strongly, strongly manifesting my success every day in every thought, my dear friends. That's the power you have. I want to say, that whatever you want to create in your life, if you want success, if you want money, if you want happiness, if you want peace, if you joy in, in your life, first create it in your mind every day. Create it in your mind. Start living that. Every moment you imagine, you visualize that my life is like this. Every day I used to visualize my life. This is how I'm going to design. Every day, even today, I visualize and create a blueprint in my life. My day is going to run like this. And you see, you start manifesting. Why today we are not able to manifest success in our life? This is because of catastrophic thinking. Pata nahi ho paayega, nahi ho paayega. Mere ko to lagta hai, sari problems mere paas hi aajati hai. Mera business thik nahi chalta hai. Mera boss bhoat khadus hai. मेरे जूनियर काम नहीं करते हैं मेरे बच्चे तो पढ़ते ही नहीं हैं इनको तो खाना ही नहीं लगता है ये हमेशा बाहर का ही खाते हैं इनके ऊपर चिल्लाने का कोई भी फायदा नहीं है मुझे तो कमजोरी रहती है मेरा शरीर कमजोर रहता है मैं हमेशा बीमार रहता हूं एंड योर ब्रेन इज सेइंग ओनली वन थिंग इन योर माइंड वॉट एवर थॉट्स यूर क्रिएटिंग ही सेंग तथास्तु 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 कीप ऑन रिपीटिंग इट विल कीप ऑन अट्रैक्टिंग दैट I am mein bimar rehta hoon tathastu. Mein bimar rehta hoon tathastu. 21 days mein bimar rehta hoon. It will pick up a illness from nature and put it into your body. Le bhai tum bimar hi raho ab bilkul. This is what is called neuroplasticity. That is what I want to explain it to you. That if you want to get fulfilled in your life, if you want to be healthy in your life, if you want to be disease free in your life, create that thought, manifest it in your life. I have thousands of patients who are on four antihypertensives, now they are on either none or they are on one. Why? Because they are choosing health. I have so many people who are diabetic, they are manifesting or de their doses are decreased. Why? Because they are choosing consciously health. I have so many people who say, Mujhe success nahi milti, maine ka success to tumhare darwaze ke bhaar kadi hai. Kholo se receive karo, start working for it, start manifesting it and it will automatically achieve. What takes away is your catastrophic thinking. Your brain is like a projector. Choti si cheez ko bada kar deta hai, ye dekho ye chota sa projector. It is magnifying everything. You put a negative thing, it will magnify. If you put a positive thing, it will magnify. It is value neutral, my dear friends. Whatever you want to put it in your brain, it will start churning. It will start churning and it will project it into a big thing. That is why small things be badi badi lagne lag jati hai. Spirituality is about creating positive thoughts. Choosing consciously positive thoughts. Vicharon ki shakti. Aur hai kya? It's only one thought at this moment. Achha laga, and my mind mein achha laga, sab kuch achha lag, laga, aisa laga, swarg mein aagaya hai. I was talking to so many people in the morning, sir, bohut badi hai, I never even imagined. Kyu? Kyunki positive brain ko wo feed mila, it is continuously now thinking, meri lito sati ho gi hai. If it can happen here, it can happen anywhere in your workplace also, in your home also, in your environment also, in your interactions also. Everything is a consequence of your complete thought process. So, my message to you second is, whatever you want to create, I'm not going to inspire you, I'm not going to tell you create this. I leave it to you, whatever you want to create in your life, create it in your mind first. Happiness or sorrow, your choice. Joy or anger, your choice. Complain or compassion, your choice. 
choose carefully my dear friends because your thoughts are creating and manifesting your destiny my dear friends that's the power of one thought my third story fourth story of life change is not an event change is a process my dear friends you cannot change overnight aisa na mat samajhiyega ki kal hum jayenge monday se jaake sab kuch badal dalunga no not at all my messages are very clear kabhi bhi life mein sab kuch zindagi bhar change mat karna main to kehta hu ek 6 mahine ke liye bhi mat karna main apne logon ko apne session mein bolta hu ek hafte ke liye bhi mat karna just change it only and only for one day put yourself in a process take one thought ki aaj i choose this thing in my life for one day i work on it consciously ek cheez one day it's worth taking a risk agar zindagi bhar kahenge bahut mushkil lagega chodo yaar subconscious mind activate ho jayega ar chetan mein chhod chhod comfort zone se bahar nahi aana hai badhiya chal rahi hai life ye sab baatein sab kehte rehte hain sunte rehte hain ignore this agle aake fir sun lena kuch time ke liye charging ho jayegi sab badhiya chalega this is not going to work that way my dear friends work only for one day and this is going to create miracles this is what happened with me when i came back from america i was 96 kg at that time i was suffering from thyroid from diabetes from hypertension and also non alcoholic steatohepatitis hepatitis fatty liver you won't believe see my pictures in 2001 in front of disneyland orlando with my friend bachpan ka mera dost hai and i was in front of the disneyland 2001 90 ji sabse patli wali picture isliye maine ye choose ki other pictures ko dekh ke to aap ghabra jayenge bilkul so i thought this is still a decent one so it was a evening of 19th no 14 july 15 july i remember mere uncle aaye the daddy ke close friend कहता है बेटा कैसा चल रहा है बहुत बढ़िया अंकल फर्स्ट क्लास क्या कर रहे हो मैं अंकल कार्डियोलॉजी की पढ़ाई पढ़ रहा हूँ जोश था एवरीथिंग उन्होंने मुस्कुराते बोला बेटा बहुत बढ़िया कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट बनना चाहते हो कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट जैसी पर्सनालिटी भी होनी चाहिए बढ़िया ही हैड शॉर्ट इज बुलेट वेरी नाइसली एंड दैट बुलेट जस्ट पियर्स माई हार्ट और दिल से होते हुए मन में जाके अटक गए मैंने कहा बात तो सही बोली 96 सिक्स के जीज कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क नाइनटीन जुलाई आई स्टार्टेड स्टडिंग आई ऑल्सो चेंज माई डाइट एंड चेंज माई एक्सरसाइज रिजीम आई नेवर कंसल्टेड डाइटिशियन आई नेवर गॉन टू अ जिम आई नेवर कंसल्टेड अ जिम ट्रेनर आई सब कुछ खाता हूँ बैलेंस तरीके से खाता हूँ आई चेंज माई डाइट फ्रॉम क्वान्टिटी टू क्वालिटी आई स्टार्टेड माई वर्कआउट रिजीम एवरी डे अलॉन्ग विद माई स्टडीज वन आवर वन एंड हाफ आवर्स एवरी डे एवरी डे आई यूज टू डू इट एंड सिक्स फेबरी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइन फेबरी टू थाउजेंड एंड टू वेन आई वॉज गोइंग टू गिव माई एग्जाम्स टिल दैट डे आई लॉस्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री के जीज ऑफ वेट माई डायबिटीज डिसअपियर माई हाइपर टेंशन डिसअपियर माई थायरॉयड डिसअपियर आई रिगिन द होल न्यू पर्सनैलिटी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स होल न्यू पर्सनैलिटी दैट वॉज नॉट दी अचीवमेंट दैट वॉज नॉट दी अचीवमेंट द अचीवमेंट इज till today 14 13th april 2024 my dear friends i meant in the same schedule in my life for last 22 years you have to put yourself in a process to maintain your health this is what i advocate in my life this is the power of spirituality and power of one thought it's not about just taking care of your mind it's balancing between your heart your mind and your soul that's the power that spirituality endows us with it's only a question of optimism the kind of thoughts that you are creating in your life my fourth message to you can our thoughts affect us in our illness also theek hai dr mohit brain program ho gaya body par asar aa gaya genes program ho gayi kisne dekha hai what about my illness ab main bimar hu can my thoughts really change my illness also possible or not possible i am going to show you some of the fantastic experiments that are amazing and my fourth life fifth life story to you and you know this was experiments that were conducted by a world famous orthopedic surgeon called doctor known as dr jb mosley वर्ल्ड की नंबर वन जर्नल है जिसमें पब्लिश है लुक एट मी लुक एट मी आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यूर बड़े मजेदार एक्सपेरिमेंट यू लव इट सपोज आई एम डॉक्टर जेबी मॉजले एंड वॉट आई 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 एम ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन एंड मैं जोड़ों के दर्द दैट मीन्स नी पेन को मैं रिपेयर करता हूँ आर्थेटिक पेन को रिपेयर करता हूँ वॉट डिड आई से आई कन्विंस ऑल ऑफ यू दैट यू गाइज आर हैविंग ऑस्ट्रो आर्थेटिस ऑफ नी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ऑपरेट यू सेट डॉक्टर गुप्ता परफेक्ट डॉक्टर मॉजले परफेक्ट वी आर रेडी टू गेट ऑपरेटेड आई अगेन डिवाइड यू इन टू टू ग्रुप्स ग्रुप वन एंड ग्रुप टू how i operate listen to group 1 i call you to my operating theater i anesthetize you behosh karta hu i open your knee 
I operate on your knee. I close your knee. Everything is being broadcast, broadcasted live outside. I shift you to the ICU. Two days later, I discharge you and measure the improvement of pain that is occurring in your knee. Group two, what do I do to you? I call you in my operating theater. I anesthetize you. I open your knee, but I don't touch your knee. I'm just falsely demonstrating and imitating as if I'm operating your knee. I broadcast a false surgery outside. I keep your knee open only for the same particular time. I close your knee. I shift you to the ICU. I discharge you to measure the pain improvement. But I tell you that your operation ho gaya hai. You have been operated. So in end, we have two groups. One which is operated and one which is not operated. But everybody believing that our surgery has been Six months later, when he analyzed what were the results, you would be shocked that both the groups experienced similar improvement in pain. Aapka to samaj mein aata hai, inka kaise pain improve ho gaya. This is called sham surgeries. Why? Because their thought process was so powerful that the pain releasing chemicals of the body, they stopped releasing and the improvement in knee pain was phenomenal only and only by the power of one thought, my dear friends. That is the power that we have in our mind. This is called the placebo effect of any particular thought. By your own thoughts, you can heal yourself or at least decrease the pain by your conscious choice. This is what happened with me. It was 21st March 2013. I was a good badminton player, probably the only sport swimming and badminton that I was playing at state level. Every day morning I used to go and one day, it was 21st March nearing Holi, I was playing and I suffered a significant injury while picking up a smash. My body completely literally started paining, my spine was aching and pain was shooting down. I was unable to move on the court. They lifted me. I was taken back to the home. I called my orthopedic friends and neurosurgeon friends, come and see me. My scans were done. There was dislocation. Pars interventricularis was fractured. And they said, Mohit, we will keep medical management. Pe rakhenge. You just take rest. Every day I used to get up, I used to see myself playing in the court. They could see my spine. Mohit, it's possible. Nahi hai, badminton chhod. I said, no, I have badminton. Khelna hai. You make me free of pain. You operate me. You make me completely fit. And they were convincing me, Mohit, surgery is not indicated. You take rest. You will be fine. One month, two months, three months, I was getting a little better, able to walk, operating. But still, that pain was bothering me. Every day, every minute, I, could, I was visualizing myself in the badminton court. I was so much fed up. Next year, January 19th, January, I got myself operated. I told them, you operate me. I want to be back on the court. And this was my picture. On 20th January 2014, first day after my surgery. Six hours of surgery. Look at this. They keep me mount. Whole mouth, was, face was swollen. And there were screws in the spine. And I was happy because I know, Yaar, ab chutkara mil jayega. I was not worried about kya laga hai, kya laga hai, six hours surgery. I was very happy. Look at this. This is my spine. Screws which were fixed and grilled into my spine to fix my spine. On day one, I got up from my bed, started walking around my bed. Day three, I was walking in all my house, wonderful, nicely. I, they discharged me, I was walking in my home. Within one week, I was walking in my garden. They used to hold my head and said, Mujhe just be at my back, I'll walk myself. On 10th day, I was right outside in my garden across the road and I was taking a walk outside. I used started mildly exercising, doing a good physiotherapy. Within one month, I joined my hospital. I started operating normally. And within three months, I came back to my complete good physio schedule. And within six months, I was back to my sports, my dear friends. And today, I'm able to do complete and all the activities. This is the power of one thought, my dear friends. If you have a why to live in your life, you can bear with almost any how in your life. You should have a purpose. A life without a purpose is like a body without a soul. This is what we need to have in our life, my dear friend. While today, all of us are just busy spiraling in the problems of life. Life is going to throw you doldrums, it's going to give you problems, it's going to give you challenges. And what we do is, we are just spiraling. My message is, don't just spiral in your life. Learn to evolve out of those spiraling. Learn to come out of those problems in a more beautiful and a learning way. That's the power of your thought, my dear friends. Today, if we want, we can create miracles in our life by one changing our one single thought. My fifth message to you.
कैन अवर थॉट्स हील एस एंड सीरियस इलनेसेज ऑल्सो ठीक है ये तो जोड़ों का दर्द है वॉट अबाउट कैंसर वॉट अबाउट ब्रेन इलनेसेज एंड लेट मी कंप्लीट माई फर्स्ट स्टोरी एंड शो यू अ फेंटास्टिक एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑल फेंटास्टिक ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड स्टडी ऑफ दिस जेंटलमैन नोन एज मिस्टर स्टोमैटिस मोराटिस ऑल पब्लिश यू कैन नोट इज नेम एंड सर्च ऑन इंटरनेट ही वॉज अ यू एस आर्मी वॉर वेटर रिटायर्ड इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स एंड लुक एट मी फेंटास्टिक इंस्पायरिंग स्टोरी ही हैज He was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, biopsy proven lung cancer. He was given only three months to live. Only three months to live. Is ne kaha hai ab to mar nahi hai. Ab jab mar na hai, America me burial would be costing three hundred dollars. Let me fly to my town in Nicaria in Greece, where burial would be costing fifteen dollars, twenty dollars maybe maximum. He took a flight, first flight to Nicaria, Greece. Apne bachon se bhi milunga, naati poto se bhi milunga, children se, grandchildren se milunga. He came to Nicaria, started living happily. started meditating started eating a vegetarian diet disconnected with technology started having a good walk and exercise meeting his friends every day started planting vineyards in front of his home and his health started improving 3 mahina beeta 6 mahina beet gaye 6 mahine ke 5 saal beet gaye 5 saal baad he was very tense yaar mujhe to marna tha main mar kyu nahi raha why am i not dying people and doctors had told me that this is a biopsy proven cancer i am supposed to die and 10 years when had passed by he got so much tense he picked up the first flight to new york to meet all his doctors just to find that those doctors who were diagnosed him with cancer were already dead by that time sab ke sab mar chuke the he checked his biopsy reports all on literature you can search nothing cooked all on literature he checked his biopsy reports that was a biopsy proven cancer he came back to his town ikaria he tyagod his pran he lived up till the age of 102 years and this man is called the man who almost forgot to die marna bhi tha ye bhi bhul gaya and this man this place this place where he used to live is called the island where people you uh, forget to die this is called the town of ikaria in greece aap sab mat chale jana wahan pe bhi hame yahi pe create karna hai usko okay and what is common amongst these people dekhi unki daadhiyon ko dekhi all people having 90 plus years age and what is common among these people is active lifestyle natural sleep vegetarian diet meditative lifestyle life wohi hai reconnecting in a better way that's the message that's the art of spirituality spirituality is ye nahi ki baith gaye dhyan mein om shanti main atma hu parmatma upar hai bas yaar this is not going to help it has to be imbibed into your soul in body in such a way in thought in such a way with belief that it will change and inspire every aspect of your life karm yog ise hi kehte hain yogi sthiti aur karm karte hue bhi wo yog ka prabhav that power of meditation is deeply influencing your soul and every cell of your body that's the power of meditation that i want to explain it to you this is what i did my dear friends when i was diagnosed with term, terminal brain you know uh, tuberculosis very difficult resistant to all the drugs i was operated on 20th june 2005 in fortis hospital delhi 6 hours surgery fantastic surgery i was very happy mohit mukti mil gayi bimari se now you are perfectly fine i was very happy enjoying my life perfectly going on fine 6 months down the lane look at this what happened i developed another lesion in my brain my old lesion had been operated right side of the brain was taken out and i developed a lesion in cerebellum which was not operable surgeon said mohit iska surgery nahi ho sakta you are already on the maximum medicines doctors from america from bangalore dr adeshwari dr guleria from aims everybody were designing my regimes to target this with the best possible drugs nothing working on me people were saying bhai it's very difficult I could also see my death to closes, but I knew that I had to live. I have to win over the disease. At that time, I was always a yogi. I went to Dadi Gulzar of Brahma Kumari. She was additional chief. I was like a kid when I was, you know, uh, into Brahma Kumaris, and she's a very powerful. She was a very powerful yogi. I went to her like a child and said, "Dadi, देखो ये हो गया मेरे brain में. This is what has happened. Look at the blend: a cardiologist and a spiritualist." look at the blend i want want to share it i want to bring it in front of you my dear friends and she said mohit tum to yogi atma ho why don't you use the power of meditation to heal yourself single line she said those were the times of meditation ke naam se logon ko allergy ho jati thi ya wo kehte the faltu logon ke liye hai we don't have time for meditation 2000 2002 3 ki baat main kar raha hu i went i came back home i said i am going to use this on myself 
I'm going to use it. People said, no, you tell America, tell ye kar, wo kar. America, no. I'm not getting any scans done now. My scans are over. It was 2006, 3rd January, look at this. I said, 4th January, I'm right there focusing on my brain, cleaning my brain out of this illness. From 4th January, I started rejecting the disease. I said, my brain is free of illness. Medicines are acting perfectly. I am free of completely of this disease. I don't accept this disease. This is my drawing room. I don't allow you to enter my brain. Medicines are perfect. 3 a.m. I used to get up. 3 to 4 a.m. I would do a focused, powerful meditation to heal myself. Kept on doing it for one year. Kept on doing it continuously for one year. With belief, with conviction and with faith, my dear friends. My scans were done in April 2007. Look at this. This lesion had completely disappeared out of my brain. Completely. This is the power of thought and meditation. You wanted evidence, isn't it? This is the evidence. This is what magic can be created. I'm not here to tell you practice Brahma Kumari's ki meditation. No, not at all. Not at all. That is not at all my purpose to convince you for Raj Yoga meditation. Not at all. I want to tell you that meditation should be an integral part. For me, for the last 40 years, I have used, I have experienced, I have healed, I have experimented with Raj Yoga meditation. So I can convincingly say that this can do miracles to you. But remember, only and only if you believe in the process. Belief is the ingredient. I get so many calls, mails, thousands of mails are on YouTube, log likhte rahenge, channel pe mere ki, sir, ye ho jayega, kaise karenge, ye karenge. Main kehta hon, bhai, pata nahi hoga, to kabhi bhi nahi hoga. If you believe it is going to work, your body, 50 trillion cells are working like a philharmonic orchestra. And one single command goes, you generate 70 trillion volts of energy and you can heal almost anything. If not, cure. I'm not going to say rare genetic disorders, everything will go on perfect, everything will go on, but at least your journey of life will be soothed, will be much more comfortable. But remember, believe in the magic that your thoughts can create, my dear friends. My fifth message to you, can our thoughts affect our relations also? Is it possible that my thoughts can affect my relations? Every day we are facing and meeting different people. Logon ka sobhav mere anusar nahi hota. People are not according to me. People are not doing the things according to me. They are troubling me. They are boring me. And every day when I get people, I start keeping their thoughts, their behaviors, their patterns in my mind. Let me ask you honestly. Let me ask you a very honest question to each one of you. And satcha uttar dena. Bilkul perfect dil se uttar dena. Bilkul honest uttar dena. अगर आपके लिए किसी व्यक्ति ने आज से 20 साल पहले, आज से 10 साल पहले और आज से 10 महीने पहले बुरा किया हो, somebody has really hurt you, somebody has really troubled you, somebody has really devastated you, and for 10 years, 5 years and 5 months that person disappeared and suddenly that person comes in front of you, what are the feelings that you generate for that person, positive or negative? Honest answer, negative feelings, negative feelings, negative. If somebody has really done something wrong to you, should we take a revenge from that person? Should we take a revenge from that person? Yes or no? Isn't it? I'll give you my answer. My answer is, if somebody has done harm to you, you should take a revenge from that person. And if you've done 10 years ago, you should We should always do that calculation. Yes or no? Yes or no? Will you do one... Exercise for me for next five, four days, then you go. Okay, three days. Will you do one exercise? Yes or no? Yes. 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 When you clean your home, when you clean your bathroom, when you clean your drawing room, when you clean everything in your home, just gather all that garbage, put it into a box, and for three days only, decorate it into a drawing room, on the drawing room. Done? Everybody is? Abhi to haath uthaya tha, jor se aapne. Aray, abhi haath, you, only for three days I am saying. Only three days. Yes or no? Why no? Kyun? Kyunki badbu aayega. It will be infectious. It will smell. It is going to harm me. So, ghar ki safai roz hona chahiye, kabhi kabhi hona chahiye. Router, should we clean our home every day or off and on? 
if you clean your home every day why don't you clean your mind every day my dear friends i must ask you this i must ask you this look at your mind at this moment at this moment is moment par aap dekho only eight things anger look at the irritation that we have look at the hatred and jealousy that we have look at the complaint and criticism in your life the competition in your life and look at the expectations we have these eight emotions have devastated our life my dear friends you may read scriptures throughout the day you may sit for 8 and 10 hours of yoga every day you may be the biggest saint practicing for 20 years you may go to best of the tirath sthals in this world the spiritual centers in the world my dear friend but remember spirituality is not about visiting about reading it's about imbibing those things in your life shastra padhna important nahi hai dosto shastra mai jeevan hona important hai if your mind is full of anger jis man ke andar krodh hai aur jis hriday ke andar eeksha aur nafrat hai dosto wo vyakti na kabhi khud khush reh sakta hai na kabhi kisi ko khushi de sakta hai the true spirituality is cleaning your own inner self this is the beauty कहते हैं ना जब खिचड़ी बर्तन में पकती है तो हमारे स्वास्थ्य को हील कर देती है लेकिन जब खिचड़ी दिमाग में पकती है ना तो हमारी लाइफ को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देती है चेक योर माइंड आई रोट अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल आर्टिकल एंड दैट आर्टिकल वाज व्हाट आर यू कुकिंग डॉट 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 इन साइड क्या चल रहा है अंदर मन में पूछो अपने आप से पूछो अपने आप से जस्ट एज यू क्लीन योर होम एवरी डे माई मैसेज इज स्पिरिचुअलिटी राजयोगा मेडिटेशन इज ओनली अबाउट क्लींजिंग योर सोल संबंधों को सुंदर बनाना संबंधों के अंदर क्रोध की जगह प्यार को भरना एम्ब्रेसिंग लव इंस्टेड ऑफ एंगर Embracing compassion instead of jealousy, embracing joy, appreciation instead of complaint, embracing acceptance instead acceptance instead of expectations, my dear friends. Whatever you water in your mind, it will grow, it will nurture. Ram or Ravan, dosto, is man ki parikalpana hai. Agar man ko acha denge, to this mind will grow into a Ram. And if man ko you keep on feeding negative, this mind will turn into a Ravan. this is the beauty and power of one thought this is the art of healing your own self my dear friends today language is designed to hide feelings shabdon mein jhoot ki chashni mila kar dosto we can express our best of the emotions lekin man ki vibrations ki sachchai if there is truth and powerful vibrations in our mind they will heal our relations they will create miracles in our life कहते हैं ना जिंदगी को मैंने कुछ इस तरह आसान कर दिया किसी से माफी मांग ली और किसी को माफ कर दिया लाइफ को इजी रखिए लेट गो ऑफ ऑल दी नेगेटिविटी लेट गो ऑफ रिलीज इट दिस इज दी पावर ऑफ ट्रू स्पिरिचुअलिटी दिस इज दी आर्ट ऑफ हीलिंग दिस इज दी साइंस ऑफ हीलिंग the science of compassion the science of healing the science of forgiveness will completely create a harmony between your emotional or the lizard brain and your frontal and the logical brain the harmony between two is so beautiful that your state of mind is completely relaxed that i'm going to show you in pictures very nearly my dear friends this is true spirituality puchho apne aap se it's nothing difficult it's nothing that it requires practice it requires only one thought at that one particular moment only for one day i practice it i choose to love everybody i choose to accept everybody i choose not to get angry everybody i choose to not reject anybody that's the art you have to do do this one thing only here till tomorrow morning i choose this one point for one day and your life will turn into a miracle my dear friends lastly our thoughts affect our food and water शिवानी बेन सो ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन दैट वाई भोजन एंड पानी में हमें वाइब्रेशन काम करते हैं लुक एट दी एविडेंस दैट वी हैव टूडे वाई पानी चढ़ना मृत बन जाता है वाई पानी गंगा जल बन जाता है वही पानी झिमझिम वाटर बन जाता है बिकॉज अवर इमोशंस आर चेंजिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द वॉटर डॉक्टर मासारू इमोटो फ्रॉम जापान when you give vibrations of love एंड जॉय टू वॉटर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वॉटर चेंजेस इन टू अ ब्यूटिफुल डायमंड on the contrary when you give the vibrations of evil and disgust to the water it changes into a ugly structure and he says that powerful positive emotions will change the structure of water and water can bring peace to our souls and our body this is the power look at this food the same rice grains 
three different emotions in three different jars when you give love to food it remains healthy it remains empowered on the contrary when you have a feeling of hatred you are not having that joyous feeling that food becomes or is not helping your body similarly look at this nature same plants look at this nature outside blooming why vibrations of love and joy and god's power are creating and making them bloom whereas hate and ignore will destroy the same plants all scientifically proven my dear friends our thoughts are creating a reality can you create a change in the environment mahol bahut kharab hai can we as few people few 3 400 people change the environment of our country yes look at these experiments in 1993 in a city of 40 million people they took 4000 meditation practitioners and asked them to meditate for 30 minutes only for 6 weeks what happened the crime the rapes and the assaults decreased by 23.3% and they said in a city of 40 million people only 4000 people if they meditate for a year the crime would go down by 50% 48% that's the power of one thought my dear friends scientifically proven today i'm here to awaken that god gene in you unlock unblock the immense powers of your mind and design your destiny create your conscious future don't just listen असाध्य को भी साध्य करना असंभव को भी संभव करना दोस्तों ये गुरु सदगुरु महात्मा किसी व्यक्ति की प्रॉपर्टी नहीं है दिस इज यूनिक टू अ माइंडसेट एंड ईच वन ऑफ यू आर इनटली गिफ्टेड विद दैट पावरफुल माइंडसेट गॉड गिव्स यू 1440 अपॉर्चुनिटीज एवरी डे माय डियर फ्रेंड्स and these 1440 opportunities are minutes that you get every day and from this dais today with my folded hands i want to say do you have only 20 minutes for your own self every day ask yourself only 20 minutes for your own self every day to create your own conscious future to design your own life to live the way you want to live your life not fulfilling or not living how other people want you to live my dear friends that's the art of creating a conscious future meditation is one of the most powerful epigenetic tools my dear friends that we know of meditation is nothing but it's just about reconnecting better with our own selves it's like charging just as you charge your mobile your laptop meditation is charging your own mind your own soul it's filling your soul with joy and happiness it's realigning your soul with virtues of god's purity with virtues of god knowledge and power with virtues of god's happiness and love and with power of peace of god aur jis atma ke andar vyakti ke andar ye six virtues aa jate hain that soul turns into a blissful or the anandam sthiti that's the power of meditation my dear friends you have the power it's your kitchen it's your drawing room you have to design how you want to live your life you wanted evidence my dear friends look at these last slide when i do your scans picture from magnetoencephalogram will reveal a typical brain like this both the brain hemispheres are totally misaligned and such brain is prone to anxiety to depression and poor mental health look what 15 minutes of meditation is doing to you it creates a beautiful resynchronization in your left and right hemisphere 20 minutes of meditation only 20 minutes of meditation completely synchronizes your right and left brain and it gives you a more integrated a better performing and a mentally and a emotionally stable system this is the power of yoga and meditation my dear friends this is the magic that we are creating in our patients in our populations in our healthcare workers by making them practice only few minutes of meditation while each one of you or many of you might believe that we are a karma we believe only in karma yes you are right karma is important but remember karma is only left brain and left brain is scientific it's analytical it's reasoning is strategic and it's only decisive my dear friends it will give you maximum 50% success in your life but if you want 100% success in your life you have to be a karma yogi you have to activate your 
right brain with meditation. Right brain is loving. It's passionate. It's free. It's poetic. And it's the one that creates and synchronizes your left brain and leads you to immense and most powerful success, unbelievable success, my dear friends, in your life. That's the power of one thought. That's the power of your belief system, my dear friends. Lastly, I would just like to say that challenges are always going to be there. As you leave, challenges are, more challenges are going to come. Emails are there, notebooks are there, working is there, and group of people like you went to a saint and said, Ki, sir, time nahi milta hai, hum kab meditation kare, kab bhagwan ko yaad kare. And he very smilingly said, don't worry, you don't need to meditate every day. Apne marne se keval ek din pehle yaad karna. They were very happy. Wow, perfect. One day before kaam ho jayega, I said, yes, bilkul kaam ho jayega. If you meditate one day before you die, everything will be solved, everything. Sab paapo se mukt ho jao. And they started moving out and one of the persons turned and said, par sir, humko pata hi nahi ki hum kab marenge. And he said, phir aaj karo, kyunki kal ka kisi ko pata nahi hai. That's the power of thought, my dear friend. If you want to bring a change, the time is now. The time is not today, the time is now. You have to do it today, my dear friends. Remember this moment. I don't know whether I'm going to meet you again or not. I don't know that. Maybe this is our last time we are meeting. But remember this moment and you will always be reminded that there was one person who gave this message of God that changed your life today. You have the power. Don't just listen. Create your own destiny. Allow God to come into a driver's seat in your life. Bhagwan ko spare wheel ki tarah use mat karo, steering wheel ki tarah use karo. Use that God's power in your life, my dear friends. Change your life. Each one of you is endowed with significant power. I request you to take out your mobiles and click my last slide that I'm going to show you. That is going to be the most powerful lesson that you would have ever listened in your life. That is going to be the takeaway, not only from this session, but probably from this whole event, my dear friends. And that message is, today is the first day of rest of your life. It's up to you how you design your life after day. Past is past, my dear friends. From today, it's totally and totally up to you how you create your future, how you design your future, how you create your destiny. It's totally your own conscious choice that you want to create in your life, my dear friends. Remember this moment forever. Let us sit back for a few minutes of silence. With your eyes open, man bhi muskurata hua, aur chehra bhi muskurata hua. Just use all self. Take a deep breath. And immerse in joy. See yourself as a point of light, a power, a shakti. See your thoughts, anger, irritation, complaint. I choose to consciously clean my mind today. I choose to design my destiny. Experience God's purity, God's love and happiness sprinkling like a gentle river bathing your soul, nourishing your soul, cleansing every, every corner of it. Experience the bliss. Gently flow with it. Look at your relations. There is harmony and love in my relations. Look at your body. Perfect. 
disease free i choose to be healthy peace and joy is my nature is my original self experience this deep bliss and silence for a few seconds consciously peace joy and happiness every thought a miracle every moment a miracle life a miracle Thank you so much. Thank you.